I have been harassed about it for so long. Matter of fact, anyone who has any connection with ISRO and uh, has any social media presence always gets asked this question ever since 2019 days. Because since then only ISRO examination has been a little bit sporadic. So we have not seen any ISRO notification for over two years now, definitely. See, the last notification was in October 2019 and the examination was in January 2020. And since then, none. Now I'm talking about ICRB examination and there might be a lot of center-based examinations and those will be still taking one to two seats like that their own examination their own selection but ultimately when we talk about scientist c post isro central recruitment board of main branches that were mechanical engineering electronics and communication and computer science engineering we have not seen any major notifications ever since 2019 now, last time before 2019, the notification was in February 2018. And from February 2018, people were again expecting one to be in February 2019, but it did not happen. It got a little bit delayed, but in that six months period, March came, April came, and there's no sign, no notification. So people were worried. Again, they they kept on <laughs> messaging or DMs, uh, sending DMs to people like us who were in ISRO and uh, we had no idea see one thing that i can say for sure none of the isro scientists who are working in general projects have any idea about when the next notification is going to happen i'm sure that if you have ever pinged any isro scientist that person has said the same thing so stop doing that stop just asking normal employees of isro of when the recruitment is going to be because that's not their job and they have no idea about it they are busy in their own world they are busy in their life they are busy in their work now since this has been asked to me so much i would like to address it in just just this one short part of this podcast see isro has like i've said isro central recruitment board so there's a separate department that is responsible for conducting all the examination uh, that leads to a job in ISRO and that includes scientist post but is not limited to that. It it hires almost in every category, even the local drivers and all will be hired through same channel. All the different staffs will be hired from same channel. If you go to ICRB website, you'll be seeing a lot of other notifications as well. So they only said that this is going to be the pattern and they only said the people who are going to design the questions uh, they said when the notification is going to come, they decide how much seats are required or how much seats should be released based on mainly how many people are getting uh, promoted to a level higher. So for, let us say, 10 scientists C posts to be created, there should be at least 10 scientists C who got promoted to scientist D. Only then spots are open. Now, Every now and then there will be a new center that opens up because of which they will just create new seats, which is also possible. But mostly this is how seats are created. And based on that, ICRB would be deciding, okay, now it is time to release the notification. Now, a lot of things has happened since the last notification. We are all aware of that. First of all, the COVID pandemic and lockdown because of which the work in NISRO also was hampered. Every other organization, the work was almost at a standstill. And you might not understand the kind of work at ISRO. So when a corporate sector office gets shut down and work from home starts, what happens is that the employees just work from their home through their laptop now isro scientists were also doing that to a huge extent but see the computers inside the isro center are not connected with the internet they are only connected with the internet and you cannot bring in your computer and take your computer outside because a lot of this is connected to national security national intelligence so obviously organizations like bhav atomic research center and uh, uh, drdo isro these organizations cannot do that work from home that you are just taking the laptop and all the data is in your laptop. That can be a security threat, obviously. A lot of people are so vulnerable when it comes to hacking. So their work cannot be done at that pace compared to, let us say, working in Wipro or so. 
now i do not really know exactly how work goes in wipro but i would imagine that they would give their give you your personal laptops that would be your work laptop and you will continue your work from home another problem is that in mechanical engineering industry itself the work has to be done on the field right you cannot assemble rocket engines at your home obviously don't try it at least the big ones so <laughs> i don't even know if you'll have the authority to do that now so obviously if those kind of work activities has to be carried out then people have to be working at the office or in the production hub that got halted down badly because of the whole pandemic situation i would imagine at that time if you notice i left isro in january 2020 so after that i was not an employee but i have been in touch with a lot of employees so that is what was going on now because of these major changes obviously recruitment would be the last priority you can understand this from any company's perspective you won't want to just increase your load towards recruitment as well right and then 2021 again you, you know delta wave and all every now and then there was lockdown it's still till this day a lot of organizations are not working at 100% strength a lot of them are working on hybrid level right now i heard that bangalore has again gone to the same work from home kind of thing so i don't think that isro is at that stage right now and the next big thing that happened is change of chairman so uh, kesavan sir was now uh, being su- been succeeded by how can i forget his name <laughs> somnath sir right the former director of vssc currently the chairman of indian space research organization so he might have his own vision of how i can lead the organization from now on and maybe he is taking a step back to organize things well and then look at properly where are we going to require hiring and what are the actual number of required vacancies instead of just going in this, these are just my own like thought process i do not have exact idea about it the next thing that isro is going towards is that isro is you you must have heard about privatization isro is not going to get privatized but isro has always been looking forward towards at least the production part like pslv launch vehicle has been mastered by india space organization so it does not it, it has not failed so far minor failures in the initial part in the 90s and then one small heat shield failure in 2017 and that's it the launch vehicle is solid so that is the robustness of that launch vehicle and if you actually look at what we call reliability of that launch vehicle i'm sure that it would be above 99% so every launch vehicle will be having some reliability and this reliability it is very difficult to achieve such high level of reliability because reliability actually work in product fashion for example this mic has a reliability of 0.9 and this boom arm has a reliability of 0.9 then the reliability of this whole setup becomes 0.9 into 0.9 that is 0.81 so obviously it is difficult to have high reliability when the component beca- or the machinery becomes very complicated and you know there is no machinery more complicated than space science application uh, products like launch vehicle there are so many parts uh, but the reliability of pslv is extremely high so at that stage they would definitely want it to be produced by maybe a private organization or maybe create a private organization which will be taking care of production so that isro can focus more on research and development that might be another reason that they are now rearranging the pieces and trying to make it even better and because of all of these reasons combining you can see that recruitment would be the last priority but I think that it has been way too long and there might be a recruitment by the end of this year or next year because ISRO is not taking a step back there's no doubt in that now obviously because when when the the country or globally it everything has been hit by pandemic the budget towards space program would reduce as well that is also a no brainer but still ISRO recently had another launch so they are doing it perfectly and the one thing that gives me highest amount of reassurance 
is the chairman because that man is not going to take a step back that is the most dedicated person the most charismatic person that you can find to be in that position and i trust him 100% so i think that isro is looking at a bright future the recruitment is bound to happen if you ask me ashish do you know when the recruitment can take place no idea guys sorry about that i don't think that anyone can know other than the isro central recruitment board and high chances are that even they do not know because they are going to be told how many seats and all all right but one thing that i hate about the kids these days that is that's the moment you start to sound old now one thing that i hate about our country's young generation in general